a former vice president and a former senator they're about to kick the pocket the video about to watch right now is another shocking and a mind-blowing prophecy from prophet mark Merako. in this prophecy he has revealed that some shocking and serious things will be happening in our country nigeria he also revealed that these men are going to kick the bucket that we are going to say roip to this man i want you to pay attention to everything he has to say in this video and please don't forget to share it with all social media platforms share with your friends and loved ones god bless us to do so watch this video god told me some things that are about to happen in november and when I saw these things, I prayed over them. Some, I used to tell you some prophecies, those that can't be fulfilled or that can't be averted. We pray, but they will just, the impact will be a little. Yes, sir. But those that can be averted are God, we avert it. Yes, sir. I thought someone would say amen. 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 But before I talk about what I saw in November and the months ahead, last Sunday, we did talk about very dark man here on the altar yes sir you said the next four months is very dark did you hear about his arrest you didn't hear i want to tell him again and whoever is hearing to pass to him let him be very careful very dark man should be very careful i repeat again the four months ahead of him comes with a lot of dark challenges oh. because on sunday we dropped this message same week we heard that he was arrested for one thing or the other and the thing is still in church uh, in court pardon me they've not passed any judgment be careful am i talking to somebody now yes sir how many of us we are in church you see i'm not playing all their videos because of time we have child dedication how many of us we are here in church last three sundays or four where we say the biggest solution the river state government should have now is to declare thanksgiving and praise the remaining four months did you see river state government organizing a thanksgiving and praise service last weekend yes sir your messages are going they are hearing it and god will keep on using this altar to do it incredible amen am i talking to somebody now yes sir god will fight for our states amen last three sundays again i warned about a collapse a building that is about to collapse i say site engineers be careful did you hear about the collapse upstairs in portacourt did you hear an upstairs collapse in Portacourt. I told the media don't to bother to share to show videos today because of itineraries of events. We are meeting with workers, dedication, so we just cut all those off. But this is not to prove that you see we said it, it happened. We are not proving that because I used to tell you any day I come here to make math and say, Nami, I they see God, you know, say Nami Tokam. You now be healing me, prophet one of the whole entire universe. God forbid. But it's not by my power it's not by my mind the day i brag about it i said as i'm talking let god close my mouth forever it's not by my mouth power not by my mind i don't see anything without him yes sir but i see a riot in america in the next few instances ahead america sit up but those of our brothers and sisters there the blood of jesus covers you Amen. as i'm talking I see a very huge riot in America. Oh. Big one. People protesting. I see placards in America. God says, tell them this November to sit up and pray for that country. I see another collapse of a building in one of the eastern states and Lagos again. Collapse of what? Building. You too now, we go rent house. You see as the building day. Pack, Kwano, pack. It's better you go and stay in your village than a building kills in the city. I know it's very costly to rent house, well furnished and well built house. But my dear, it is not for you to put your life in a risk. Yes, sir. I can tell you again, in one of the eastern states, if I put your ears on ground, not too far from now, I see a massive collapse of a building. Massive. It will take the mercy of God for people not to die massively. God, have mercy. God says I should tell them. Be careful. Check your buildings. God gave all of us Holy Spirit for crying out loud. We are very wise to see when a building is not looking it again, no matter how they paint it. Run for your life. Am I talking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. sir. I can tell you. You know, what is the essence of prophecy? Prophets grant us profits in life. Yes, sir. When you are in a kind of church like this, where prophetic messages are passed, you use it as a compass to save your life. Yes, sir. sir. 
God, why does God open the eyes of his servant into the future? Two reasons. To prepare you so the future does not take you at unawares. And number two, to prove to you that he is still God in heaven. I see an attack on people and their property in River State. Like you will be sitting, and what I'm talking about are not small people, political stalwarts, great people, names that are known in River State. I see their properties being attacked by angry parties. God says, I should tell you people that are warring in River State. Be careful. <clears throat> Don't degenerate the peace of this state to something else. Because I can tell you, it's getting to a point. I see this one attacking this one's property. And this one attacking that one's property. But may the peace of God come. Amen. May the wisdom of God grant us peace in this state. Amen. I am not saying that this person will go or that person will go. We are prophets. When we send something in the realm of the spirit, we pass it so that the authorities will do what they need to do quickly. Yes, sir. So the authorities you sit up in securing lives and properties. properties. If you say it's a lie, watch out now. It's on a Sunday we'll stand here and say fulfilled Prophet. prophecy. See, it happens. Play down on prophetic message on your own detriment. As I was done with that, God says I should pass this message. Hear me and hear me well. How many of us know Javis? You know Javis? Yeah, it's now with. Uh... No, sometimes I can be praying and God will just flash my eye to something. God just flashed my eyes to her. And He said, I know fans of people who are following us will pass the message to them. In case when you pass this message to her and she doubts, if you are watching online, just copy some of our fulfilled prophecies and give to her. Because I don't expect her to doubt. Say, tell Jarvis to enter the secret place of prayer. The weather and the wind about to blow towards her will not bring anything good news. I repeat again. Tell Jarvis to enter the secret place of prayer. That the wind about to blow. I released a prophecy about very dark man before last Sunday. Two Sundays ago, somebody sent a comment like why are you paying attention to people like that is God paying attention to people on the altar you don't have what to talk about on the altar I told the person you that is judging could be worse than that person you don't judge any person all souls are mine says the Lord some people you are judging today could be prophets tomorrow yes sir, yes, sir. some people imagine when I was not a pastor you, you not judge me well look I'm a pastor today am I talking to somebody now yes, yes sir so dear Jarvis our computer girl please enter the secret place of prayer because I know you must see this. There's no two ways about it. You will hear it. Enter the secret. Pastor, what did you see? Say it clear. What I can tell you is enter the secret place of prayer. Pray for your life. Pray for your health. And pray for your family. Did I see anything now? Finally, or second to the last, a former vice president and a former senator, they're about to kick the bucket before 2024 is over. Sometimes when I see names, when it has to do with death, I don't call their names. Wisdom directs soul. And for legal issues. But I can tell you, a former vice president and a former senator, please sit up, pray. But God says I should tell you, I don't know those of us who are into the business of export, whether you are here, you know somebody. God says that flourishing is coming to you in this November. Amen. amen. If your amen sounds loud, this ah. one is coming to you. I said you are doing exploit this November. Amen. amen. While I was meditating, he says I should tell his people. Yes, sir. And I say again, tell his people. And I'm telling you this. That that thing that had made you to cry, you may say, Pastor, this is a generalized prophecy. You didn't call my name. But if you claim it, it is your own. Amen. That thing that has put ears on your head. Now, while I saw this pro prophecy, I saw multiple documents being stamped. You know when somebody is out of time and they don't have time again, they are stamping, stamping with speed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I decree and declare, oh. anything you are looking for, 
Jesus. that has to do with a document oh. or maybe your CV that you submitted somewhere Jesus. or something you bidded for. Oh, yeah. Someone watching online, someone seated here. Ah. I command before the 17th of November, oh, yes. receive the good news that it has been approved in the name of Jesus. Yes. I command receive the good news that it has been approved. Yes. Somebody will stand on this altar to testify and say, finally it oh. happened. Yes. May that be your testimony. Yes. May that be your testimony. Yes. May that be your testimony. Yes. 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 Hear me before I pray again and give you the test the fasting for this week. Most of you follow me back to back online. You may see a testimony I posted last night. Somebody sent me a message. He said, I told the person, Your promotion is coming. The person works abroad, America. He says he has been in that country company for long. That everybody is promoted. Why not me, man of God? I said, Don't ask this question. He said, What is God saying? I said, God says I should tell you that before the year runs out, at the end part of the year. That you receive your promotion i told you we are not playing anything today but it's on my social media page she messaged last night from united states of america she said man of god you said at the end part of the moon yeah she said they have promoted me and Glory. the pay is something else it's money we can't mention online and i can't call her name i want to decree as the year is coming to an end I decree in the name of Jesus. Yes, I connect to the blood of the Lamb. Uh -huh. Everything that you desire, Jesus. my God, do it for you instantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. May that open door come now. Amen. May that promotion come now. Amen. May that testimony come now. Amen. In the name of God the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so shall it be. I'm sure you have heard everything Prophet Mark Monaco have said in this video. I'm sure you paid serious attention to everything he said God showed him that will be happening in our country, Nigeria. You see, I've been releasing some prophecies here that have come to pass, some prophecies that have uh, played out. It is important that as we listen to uh, prophecies like this, as we watch videos like this, that we take action by praying. It is important for us to pray. It is not after watching we relax and then when we happen, uh, uh, you people come to the comment section and be commenting you people only know how to see bad bad things prophet of doom prophet of this it is important for us to pray whether it concerns you or not at lo as long as it has to do with our country nigeria pray as long as it has to do with uh, human beings pray the last time i brought up uh, i i showed you people a prophecy he gave of a building collapses i also showed you people of the prophecy he gave of a, a, a of a plane crash and you people know about what happened then in portacot so all these things are things that we really need to pay attention to we really need to pay attention to all these things now he is saying that uh, uh, some of, of the former vice president a former vice president of our country nigeria is going to kick the bucket that we are going to say roip to them it is important that we pray for these people i don't know the the, the vice president he's talking about because we have had different vice presidents in our country nigeria i don't know if he's talking about article I don't know. I don't know if he's talking about Susi Banjo. I don't know. Okay, uh, uh, let me not can good luck Billy Jonathan, because he went on to become the president of our country, Nigeria. So I don't know the exact person he's talking about. Whether it is somebody me, I don't know. But it is important that as he have said it, we tell God whoever he is speaking about, whoever he said the God have showed him that is going to kick the bucket this year, that we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Especially if that person is still young, like uh, uh, Osibanjo and Atikudem, that God should preserve their life. I know some of you will not be happy that I'm saying that we should pray for, for them. You see, politicians are also human beings. Uh, as I'm here, I will never sit down here to tell you that we should pray that anybody should die or we should pray that anything bad should happen to anybody. That is one thing I will never do, no matter what you say, no matter the insult, no matter the pressure. Because I, I know that the Bible has encouraged us that we should love everybody he said even pray for your enemies pray for your enemies so when i say let us pray for these people it is not like i enjoyed everything we all know what happened when osibanjo was the vice president of nigeria under uh, uh, buare they did not do anything they were part in fact it is their administration that even added to all the mess we are seeing right now they laid the foundation for all the rubbish we are seeing right now so i'm not going to say that that man actually did anything for nigeria i did not see anything that he did in this country nigeria but that will not make me to say i will sit down here and say uh, let uh, what the pastor have said happen to him no likewise article 
He never did anything. Even a passenger came out to say that he stole money, that he cannot go to was it is it UK or which country because of uh, the things. I I I don't know. So these people, even though those you people, they are not worth our prayer. They are not worth praying for. But I need you to understand that if you have Christ in you, you will not be seeing anybody as an enemy. Pray for them. Allow them to be. God, they will face their their judgment later. Because if you say, let them die right now, it is not going to change whatever we are facing right now in this country. If you say, let this happen, it is not going to change anything. So please, let us do where to pray. And uh, Pastor McMurako also warned of uh, that uh, God showed him that some buildings are going to collapse. He has said this thing before and it happened. Let us not allow, the Bible said that affliction, affliction shall not rise the second time. Let us not allow this thing to happen again. Let us go, go to God in prayer. Let us tell him that he should avert anything the enemy is planning against our nation, Nigeria. Whatever will cause loss of life, that God should remove it in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that God should, should destroy every agenda of the wicked one, every plans of the enemy against our nation. Nigeria. I keep telling you people that Nigeria is a blessed nation. Nigeria is a nation that uh, God has really blessed. We have everything that <laughs> that if maximized or when maximized, we make us the envy of nations. And it is not a surprise to me that uh, a lot of things are happening here, attack here and there, this and that. But I need you to understand something. I want you to understand that what Whatever is going on in this country right now, whatever is happening right now in this country is subject to change. I need you to understand that. That whatever you are seeing right now is subject to change. So don't uh, bother yourself too much about this, about that. Everything you are seeing right now is subject to change. So the only thing I want you to do for me, the only thing I want you to do right now is that I want you to pray. Prayer is very, very important. Pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria will be better again. Nigeria will be bigger again. Nigeria will be greater. I know so. I am telling you with all certainty. It may not happen now. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not even happen in 2025. But I need you to understand that the things will not remain like this in our country, Nigeria. Things will not remain like this. So I encourage us to pray. Pray that the will of God be done in our country, Nigeria. Because I know that his thoughts towards us is of good and not of evil. To give us an expected end. He said, I wish above all things that you should prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. So I need you to understand that God wants, wants Nigeria to do well. God wants Nigeria to make progress. God don't want Nigeria to remain this way. Forget about whatever you are seeing right now. All this thing you are seeing is not God's way. Men are the ones enforcing and making these things to be like this. But I want you to know that it is not going to last. Things will get better. Nigeria will get better. Nigeria will grow. Nigeria will improve. Nigeria will not remain stagnated forever. So please, I encourage you. Pray for our country, Nigeria. Pray that no building will collapse this year. In this month of November and beyond this year, that no building will collapse again. Even though a building will collapse, I decree and I declare in the name of God, in the name of Jesus, that human beings will not be there. Lives will not be lost. Lives will not be lost. No matter what the enemy is planning, I just want you to know that we need to place our trust. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not in thy own understanding. We need to keep put our faith in God. Some may trust in chariots, David said. All that's in horses, but I will trust in the name of the Lord. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I want you to know that God is in control. He is so in control that he has given you control. So, and I want you to make use of that control he has given you. Know that no, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment, you can condemn. So, Pray. Let us pray. As Pastor Makwedako have outlined them, let us pray that no life shall be lost. Let us pray for our politicians. Pray for our vice president, our former vice president. Pray for every one of them. No life shall be lost. Pray that God should preserve them. No life shall be lost. When we, we 
uh, say talk uh, like this when we uh, uh, bring out videos like this a lot of us um, especially when we say pray a lot of us get really angry but i need you to understand that especially if you are a believer i need you to understand that you you need to love people Regard, I, these politicians, I don't even want to be talking about them because they have really messed up this nation. They have really messed up a lot of lives. People are going through hardship in this country. But I don't want it, I don't want you to make the situation of Nigeria to make you become a different person, to make you become who you are not supposed to be. I don't want you to become a bitter somebody. Let love lead. Let love take over your life. So, pray for our country, Nigeria, and pray for all the people that this man of God has talked about and these situations he said may happen. The collapse of building, let us pray against them in the name of Jesus. And as you do so, I know that God is going to meet you at the point of your needs in the name of Jesus. Whatever you desire, you will get in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching today. Please do it to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you turn a subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. When you call for one, may millions answer you in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget, share with also share that platform, share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next one. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is be written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.